Bodine 52, how are you folks? Hope you are well. Today I'm out on one of my favorite roads and want to talk to you about rider fatigue. We all know how important that is, especially when we are riding our motorcycle. But yet it still happens. In this video I'm going to talk to you about what I think are the, some of the causes. Give you some suggestions on how you prevent that. And I want to hear back from you. Oh man, I'm like a kid. It is 80 degrees in Michigan. And I am out riding on the bike and there's hardly anybody out here. Maybe that's because it's a work day in the middle of the afternoon. And hopefully nobody that uh, I work with is watching this video. If you are, it's lunch hour. Get back to work. All right, so. You know, it's, it's funny. Let me start with a story. This is Bodine always kind of laughs at me. She says it's with me. But when we go on a long ride, especially in the car, let's say four or 500 miles, right? I, I can't drive that whole way. I just, I just can't. I may go 100, 200 miles, 200 miles maybe, and then I, I just got to switch off. And I don't know why it's in a car it's that way, and I get kind of tired. You know, I'm, I'm one of those five-minute nap guys, by the way. So I'll, I'll take a nap for about five minutes, and then I'm raring to go. But I just, I get fatigued. So when I took my first um, longer motorcycle trip, uh, it was one day, like, 350. And I know a lot of people go, uh, go further than that. But the first time I took Big Mom out for a long ride... Um, I was like, oh man, am I going to get tired? What the hell am I going to do? Uh, and I noticed a couple things. I noticed, one, that I don't get as tired riding on the bike. And, and I think that's for a couple of the reasons that I'm going to talk to you about. But let's first start with the reasons that it happens. Now, this is an interactive type video, even though you really can't talk to me while I'm riding. But... Um, I, I really want your feedback on these. So let, let's talk about some causes. Well, the first of it, obviously, is a lack of sleep. Now, I, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm going on a motorcycle trip, man, I am fired up, right? I am ready to go, check the bike, made sure it was, it was uh, good to go, and check the tires, did all the, all the stuff you're supposed to do uh, on checking your bike before you go out any time, quite frankly. Um... And I'm just fired up, so sometimes I can't sleep as much, which makes me tired the next day. Or I do something out of the norm when it comes to my sleep pattern. So if I'm a guy that go, I'm a guy that goes to bed 10:30, 11 o'clock at night, and I'm a, I'm a up at six wide awake guy, right? There's still a ton of sleep, um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but if I decided to go to bed at eight or 10, or 12, I'm getting out of my normal routine of what makes me kind of get through the day, right? So number one to me, it is you got to make sure that you um, are sleeping. You're kind of your normal deal. The, the second one is, in my opinion, you got to be ready. You got to be packed. You got to have your crap together, the bike together. Because if you don't, one, you're frustrated in the morning, or I get frustrated in the morning. I don't want to pack it in my crap. I want to get on the bike and roll, right? So to me, it's you. You got to be ready because you're you're using all that energy to get your bike ready, and you know, it, again, you can kind of get frustrated, and you're like, uh, I I just want to be able to go, and I think that throws you off, and I think it takes some of the energy out of you. Um, hey, and a little bit matters, right? That is for sure. Number three, I don't want to be rushed. I want to take my time, be prepared, get mentally ready, and I don't want to be rushed. 
I think it matters. I think at the end of the day, how rushed we are impacts on how we're feeling, which impacts on how long we can ride. And if we get fatigued while we're riding. Number four, dehydration. We all know that if you're dehydrated, it causes a bunch of different problems. A bunch of different problems. You know, because you are definitely not aware. You are definitely not sharp. And um, it's kind of like when I wore contact lenses for a while. And they were bothering me. So I go back to the eye doctor and I'm like, hey, Doc, these are bothering me. They're scratchy. He's like, huh, I don't understand that. You don't really have dry eye. I said, but are, he says, are you putting the, you know, the drops in your eye? I'm like, yeah. Well, he goes, well, when? I said, well, when it, when it starts hurting. He's like, that's too late, idiot. He didn't say idiot, but he meant idiot because I felt it. And I'm like, huh, it's the same way with hydration, right? Um, if you are out on the bike and feel that you are dehydrated, um, it is too late. Normally, a quick bottle of water is not going to just let you drink that and you're going to be good to go. So uh, make sure that you know that dehydration is, the, is another one. And my, my last one is being hungry. Now, hungry, hangry, whatever it is, out of your routine. If you're a normal, I eat breakfast guy or gal, you should eat breakfast before you go on your ride. Now, some would say if you normally don't eat breakfast, you shouldn't. I would tell you that you should have something. Because we all know when we may be a little bit hangry. So those are, the, those are actually the causes as far as I'm concerned. But I would like to hear from you on what you think. Howdy, folks. It's going to be me, retired at a park, eating lunch with Mrs. Bodine. I hopefully that happens sooner rather than later. All right, so what are those, some of the things that we can do? About, I was going to give that guy the biker wave just to see how he reacted. Uh, what are some of the things that we can actually do to help ourselves? Well, obviously, and I mentioned it earlier, make sure you got enough sleep. I mean, it, you just got to find a way to make sure that you are alert, you're sharper in the morning, and uh, you, you, there's just no way around it. You got to make sure that you are not sleepy and you are as sharp as you can be. The second thing is, I think that you should start early in the morning. I think that we are awake, more awake, more productive. And I also think that starting our day off on the motorcycle keeps us sharp, keeps us excited, and stops that, I like to call it highway fatigue, right? Where you're on a road, you're not on a beautiful road like this. You're just on something that's a straightaway uh, maybe you're on a turnpike or something, and it's just, quite frankly, boring. I mean, what we all try to prevent riding on, right? All right, next one. Hydrate, 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 and hydrate early. A couple hours at least. Start that old uh, water in you. Um, I'm also somebody that likes Gatorade. That juices me up a little bit. You know, that doesn't work for some people, but for me... Uh, Gatorade is something that on a longer trip, I'll keep that in water in the bike. Uh, And that seems to work uh, the best for me, which is a Gatorade shot. And I've also heard of some people, and this wasn't originally on my list, that will keep uh, something on their bike to eat. Whether it's uh, a a piece of chocolate or a, a candy bar that you break up or something that gives you that extra juice. Um... To, to get you through that that time where you're, uh, I, I can't I can't uh, stay as focused as I want. I remember Harley Day Rider telling me a story about when he was going on a on a um, a trip with his wife, Mrs. HDR, and she tapped him on the shoulder and says, "Okay, let's get off of the next exit because um, what the heck is going on here?" Uh, because he was, she could see that he was kind of veering off and wasn't you know riding as sharp as he normally does i mean hdr the rider the king rider i mean 
she can notice the difference. But if we're out alone, we may not notice that. Now, I think we also at times do. I can tell maybe when I'm getting a little bit tired by how I ride. There is no doubt about that. I think the other thing is, and probably not good for motoblogging, but as you know, cold and air wakes us up. It just does. How many times have you been in your car and you're like, crap, I'm falling, I'm getting sleepy and you roll down the window. I mean, you haven't been doing that since I was a kid. It works, right? It definitely works. And then, of course, there is music. Music for me is the king. If I am rocking out, I just can't fall asleep. I just can't, right? You know, I'm in my mid-50s, so I'm, a, I'm an old-time rock and roll guy. Grew up in Michigan. So if, if there's some, some Bruce Springsteen or some Bob Seger, or I'm also a Third Eye Blind fanatic, Bodine 52, special fact. Um, if I'm listening to that music, not happening. I, I, I'll ride. I'll definitely ride forever. And then, you know, the other two options. Let's talk about one that is a bad idea, but you have to do. You may just need to postpone your trip. Or you may just need to postpone your ride. You may just say, I am just not with it enough to get and put this engine between my legs and ride. It, I'm, I'm probably in a position where I, it's too dangerous for not only me, but for somebody that I may actually hit. <clears throat> Obviously, if you have your significant other or somebody else on the bike, you're going to pay even more attention to making sure that you are mentally ready because you own, own the safety of that person on the back of your bike. And last but not least, plan and make frequent stops. I do that when I ride by myself. I would tell you I'm normally a 100 to 125 mile guy. I have a five-gallon five, five gallon tank, five-and-a-half-gallon, five-gallon tank on this. So I normally can get two stops, right? I will stop somewhere for get off and stretch my legs, um, walk around, get a drink, spend five or ten minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it takes to get back on, and then the next stop is usually fuel. So stopping a lot helps uh, as well. And, of course, if you have a, a big cruiser like mine, you know, forward pegs, you know, um, you know, stretching your back. I mean, there's a ton of things that you can do. Uh, or like this place. You can go by this milking cow place. And you can smell that. And then a week, yeah. But I will, uh, you know, it's just one of those things as I'm getting ready. And I think we are all getting ready to take some longer trips to make sure that we understand what fatigue is because we are, uh, we're all brothers and sisters in motorcycles, motorcycle riding, and we don't want to see anybody hurt. I would really like your feedback on what do you think? What are some additional causes that maybe I haven't covered? And then what are your other suggestions that you can give folks? Well, that is it, folks. I am going to hit some of the back roads. I am going to take that rock out right now. And uh, you enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe. Be vigilant. Check on a friend. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.